Want a money-making website in minutes, even as a beginner? I'm showing you how with Gemini AI. I've got the perfect prompt for you. Just copy, paste, and launch an ad-ready SaaS website. And let's build a professional website screenshot tool, code-free, right now. First things first, open up any browser you like, and let's head over to Gemini Studio. Just type Gemini Studio into your search bar and hit enter. In the search results, you're looking for the one that says Google AI Studio. Click on that and it'll take us straight to the Gemini Studio site. Now take a look at the right sidebar. We're going to select the latest model of Gemini AI. As of this recording, the latest is Gemini 2.5 Flash Preview, so that's the one we'll be using. Click on it to select it. Next up, I'm going to open my prompt. And don't worry, you can find this exact prompt in the description below of this video, so you can follow along or adapt it for your own projects. First, I asked for a Node application with an HTML web page front end. Next, I specified three files, an index.html with all HTML, CSS, JS, a server.js to serve the HTML and host APIs, and a readme.md for setup instructions. Then, I described the app's core function. It should take a screenshot of any website, and users should be able to download it via an API on server.js. For the design, I requested a beautiful, professional SaaS startup look, complete with micro animations, gradient colors, dark mode, and a full website structure including a navbar, footer, and multiple sections. Regarding website sections, I specified the main tool should be visible right under the hero text. Below that, include sections like process cards, a professionally designed free pricing tier, feature cards, and FAQs. And crucially for monetization, I asked to set up Google AdSense banners on the front end, using placeholders if ads aren't immediately active, so we know where they'll go. This detailed prompt should give us a beautiful and functional website. Remember, if you're crafting your own prompt, the key is detail, just like this one. The more specific you are, the better Gemini can understand your needs. Okay, once you're satisfied with your prompt, or if you're using mine, go ahead and copy the entire prompt. Then, paste it right into the prompt section here in Gemini Studio. And now for the magic. Click that button that says Run, and Gemini AI will start generating all the code we need. This part usually takes about two to three minutes, sometimes a bit more or less. It really depends on how complex the app you've requested is. So, let's give it a moment. And there we have it. The code is ready. Let's scroll up a bit and just double check that Gemini understood and generated everything from our prompt. Looking good. I think we got the whole prompt covered. Excellent. Now let's create a new folder on our computer to hold our project files. And inside that newly created folder, let's open up VS Code. If you haven't got VS Code on your computer, check the link in the description on how to download it and come back. A quick way to do this is to right click inside the folder and if you have it configured, select Open with Code or you can open PowerShell or your terminal here. In the terminal, type code space dot and hit enter. This nifty command will automatically open VS Code in our project folder. All right, let's switch back to Gemini Studio for a moment to see the generated files. Gemini wants us to create a file named server.js. So back in VS Code, let's create that file, server.js. Once it's created, copy the code block Gemini provided for server.js and paste it into your new file. Next up, Gemini indicates an index.html file. Let's create that in VS Code. New file, index.html. Then, same deal. Copy the HTML code from Gemini and paste it into your index.html file. And the last file is the readme.md. Gemini wants us to create a new file for this too. So, in VS Code, create readme.md then copy the code or content Gemini generated for the readme.md and paste it into the file. Okay, with all our files in place, Gemini also provides an installation process in the readme. Let's follow that. The first one says to create the files we just did, so we're good there. Let's proceed to step two, to install the dependencies. Gemini wants us to open the terminal first. If you don't have it open in VS Code, click on the View menu at the top, and in the dropdown, click Terminal. This will open the integrated terminal. Now Gemini wants us to copy the command npm init-y. Let's copy that, paste it into the terminal, and hit enter. This initializes our node.js project and creates a package.json file. Now the package is initialized. 
The next step Gemini wants us to do is to copy npm install express puppeteer. Let's paste that into the terminal and hit enter. This will install express, which is our web server framework, and puppeteer, which is the library that will handle the website screenshotting. This might take a few minutes to download and install. Great, all dependencies are installed. Next, to run the server, Gemini says we need to copy nodeserver.js into the terminal. Let's do that and hit enter. Our server should be running. Now, to access the app, Gemini wants us to copy this address, localhost 3000, and paste it into our browser. And look at that. As we can see, the app is now running. We have our SaaS website up. Check this out. If we click this button here, it toggles between dark mode and light mode for the website. That's a nice touch we asked for. And if we scroll down, all the sections that we needed, the hero section, process cards, pricing, features, and FAQs, are all provided by Gemini. This looks really good and professional. And also, the Google AdSense section placeholder is here, as we requested. This is important because this is where our ads would go, and that's how we can make money with this app. All right, moment of truth, let's test our app by inputting a URL. I'll use google.com, and now click the Take Screenshot button. As you can see, it says that Screenshot is ready. Let's try downloading it by clicking the Download Screenshot button. And there it is. The download button is working, and the app successfully screenshotted the Google homepage. Let's try another website. Let's try the Facebook website. So I'll type facebook.com and click the Take Screenshot button again. And again, it says Screenshot is ready. Let's try downloading it by clicking the Download Screenshot button. As you can see, the download button is working perfectly. The app screenshotted the Facebook login page. Amazing. So there you have it. In just around six minutes, we went from a detailed prompt to a fully functional, beautifully designed SaaS application, complete with monetization placeholders, all thanks to the power of Gemini 2.5 Pro. I hope you make money as well. Imagine the possibilities this opens up.